absolutely addicted to sleeping with my blow dryer. Huh? I don't want anybody telling me that I can't use it. The blow dryer had just attacked me that night. When I see scars on her arms, that's a problem. People will tell me all the time, I don't have to feel. I don't want it to rule me anymore. I love eating toilet paper. You should really consider not doing it at all. It's not normal. You're really playing Russian roulette with your life. My name's Lori. I'm 31 years old. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. I live in Austin, Texas. I am a mother to a beautiful little three-year-old named Andrea. You're gonna make your hair so pretty today. And I am addicted to sleeping with my blow dryer. I was eight years old when the first time I remember sleeping with the blow dryer. Um, I used to share a bed with my older sister, Tawny, and she, one night, turned on this blow dryer. And the sound of it, the warmth of it, just instantly put me to sleep. And from that night forward, I was hooked. Typically, my nightly routine would just be to get up underneath my covers, turn on my blow dryer on low, and um, just curl up next to it, fill it on my hands. If I'm cold, I put it on my feet, and then I zone into the sound of it. Very often, people who are addicted, whether it's to alcohol, to drugs, or to behaviors, they often do it to soothe themselves. I had a really, really bad burn incident where I had like six or seven major, major blisters. And I woke up and it was just like, the blow dryer had just attacked me that night. When I see scars on her arms and scars on her chest and whatnot, that's a problem. Sharing the bed with the blow dryer, I hated it. You know, I'd wake up in the middle of the night and she's knocked out and I'm up tossing and turning. Either you come over to my side of the bed where I'm cuddling with my blow dryer, or else, you know, we won't cuddle at all. I took some video of her when she was pregnant. I caught her right in the act, sleeping with it. People witness what I've had to learn to live with. Witness someone that sleeps with a blow dryer. She's like a blow dryer expert. I mean, she looks at the wattage, the volts. I really like to be able to adjust the heat setting at night. This one doesn't even have a cool button, so this is a no-go. Huh? Sharing a room, she, she definitely had to have it. During the middle of the night, she'll come in and she'll curl up on my blow dryer side most of the time. As long as I'm using it, she's gonna be partial to it. It's not something I want for my daughter. <laughs> 